another place where this whole idea about magnetic fields exert forces on moving charged particles, where it applies. And it's making magnetic fields exert forces on currents. Because a current, of course, is the motion of charges. And we treat current as if it's the motion of positive charges. So if I have a wire, and I have a current through it, and there's a magnetic field that works like this. Current goes in this direction. The velocity of the positive charges are in this direction. The magnetic field, in this case, is into the board. Net result, it makes a force to the right in this case. Okay. So there's a force on a current. And that is of tremendous practical importance. I'm going to show you an example of a place where this shows up. Speakers use magnets. Now, check this out. This right here is a little stereo speaker. And it's like I have a magnet here. And then I have a coil that sits on top of it. And then on top of that, I have this speaker cone that sits on top like this, OK? And so this was like a, a big speaker. And this was actually on top of like some sort of a loudspeaker. And I took it apart. It can take screws out. And then the coil comes out. And then I have a magnet. And the magnet works like this. The magnet's basically a donut magnet. And so it starts life like looking like this. It starts life looking like this. If I do a side view of it, and if I took the metal plates out, it looks like a donut, like so. There's a hole in the center. And the top of it is a south pole. And the bottom of it's a north pole. Then what happens is you put on a metal plate on the bottom, like this. And the metal plate extends up into here. And what it does is it brings a region of north pole into the center of the donut. So this piece right here, this is a north pole. This piece out here is a south pole. So in the region between here and here, the magnetic field goes from the north pole towards the south pole. So there's this little gap between the magnets. And in that gap, the field is pointing from the center outward, just as I've sketched right here, OK? Now, i got a coil of wire right here. And you can see, if I turn it to the side, this is very fine wire on this coil. And the coil is designed to sit right inside that gap, like so. OK? It sits, sits in it like, like so. It sits inside the gap. And it's nicely sized, so it's a good fit for that. Before we actually go ahead and do that physically, I want to do a calculation for this particular case. And this is real data for a speaker just like the one that I have here. OK. 20 turns of wire around this coil with a total length of 1.2 meters. So there's 1.2 meters worth of wire that goes around here. It sits in here. There's a magnetic field, 0.15 Teslas, that's directed as shown in this figure, directed like that. Question, if the wire carries a current of 1.2 amps, what is the force on the wire? But before we get to the magnitude of the force, I want to think about the direction of the force. With it directed as shown, OK? With the field and the current directed as shown in the figure, what will be the direction of the force on the current? And here's the thing. At every point in the wire, the field's in a different direction, and the current's in a different direction. So try it for a couple of different points. And if you do that, you'll see that there's some constancy here. The field is directed radially outward. The current is going this way. What's the direction of the force on the coil? Talk to your neighbors about that. I'm going to call a name out of the box and tell us what direction you get and how you achieved that. What do you think? OK, so let's do the very top of the loop, OK? If the field's going upward, at that direction, what's the velocity of the charged particles in the very top piece of the wire? That way, right? So velocity's that way. Field is towards the top of the board. I'm showing force inward. The force is going to be perpendicular. So there's only two choices, out of the board or into the board. In this case, I'm coming up with inward. 
Velocity is that way, field is that way, force is into the board, okay? Question, how about if the current goes in the other direction? Right now the current is going counterclockwise. Current turns around and goes clockwise. What's the direction of the force? Outward. So clock, counterclockwise current into the board, clockwise current out of the board. Oh, except the current that's applied to it is AC. It goes around this way, and then it goes around this way. And so the force goes out and in and out and in. And so the cone gets pushed back and forth. And as it gets pushed back and forth, it pushes around air. Oh, and we know what happens then. But let's do a calculation just to see how big is the force. The magnitude of the force is I times L times B. What's the magnitude of the current? It's like 1.2 amps. What's the length of the wire? 1.2 meters. And we're told what the magnitude of the field is. is 0.15 Teslas. And so I get a force, if I calculate this out, of 0.22 newtons. 0.22 newtons, it's a, it's a reasonable, it's not that big, but on the other hand, the coil is quite light, and so it doesn't take much force to push it and make it accelerate quite a bit, and that's enough force to make this extremely lightweight for, coil, which has a mass in the order of grams, to make it accelerate. And so here's what happens. I'll take my magnet, and I have a coil of wire, and I'm going to take this coil of wire, and I'm going to turn on a current into it, and the current is produced by the output of my iPod. So I have my iPod here, plug it in, turn it on, it's passing a current to the coil, and what we hear is nothing. But if I take this coil of wire, and I rest it between the poles of the magnet, <laughs> oh yeah, and then I can take it and I can make it better. So what's happening is the current's going this way, and then the coil's doing this. Oh yeah, and pushing the air around. Oh yeah. That's how speakers work. That's how speakers work. Here's something I want you to, to think about. When you have like the, 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 the earbuds, okay, typically the, the little speakers inside your earbuds work this way. Have you noticed when you walk into the library that you hear a noise in your, in, your, in your earbuds? Oh yes, that's the coil of wire inside there. It's picking up a changing magnetic field from the theft detection system. Will we talk about that? Oh yes, indeed we will.